This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2004 Ford F-250 Crew Cab. Uh, it is a 6 October diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's Lariat, which is leather, and it's the FX4 off-road suspension package. This was a dealer trade-in to Glenn Ford in, uh, in uh, Glenn Jones, I believe it is, Ford in Phoenix. Uh, they can't sell anything on their used car dealerships generally with over 100,000 miles or that are over 10 years old because they can't get financing for their new used car buyers in that situation. So we try to buy as many of them as we can and this is a really nice truck. Um, we bring them here, we do an inspection. Um, this is what it looks like. 6.0 Crew Cab 4x4 Lariat. Very nice truck. Runs and drives great. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Well maintained by previous owner. We repaired a tear on the driver's seat. We replaced the grill because it was cracked and gross and did sway bar links. Other than that, it's in great shape. Previous owner did a nice job in it. I'm gonna walk around this truck. I'm gonna show you the truck. Um, I'm gonna point at stuff that I see uh, cosmetically. And if you want to, you can go through the photo gallery, find that spot in the photo gallery, take the little magnifying glass icon, like right here, and zoom in on that little, on that picture, on that photo, using that magnifying glass icon. It's literally like having your face right up against the truck. We encourage people to do that. Um, that way they, uh, you know exactly what you're buying and there's no surprises. This is a beautiful truck. I mean, the guy took great care of it, but, uh, I always encourage people to really look carefully so that, uh, whatever things annoy you aren't there. Uh, we have no problem selling these vehicles. So my goal in these videos really is to tell you what's wrong more than what's right. That way we don't have any drama. Drama sucks. We don't want drama. So. Um, knowing that, um, I kind of tend to drift towards the problems. I see a little ding. I think it's right there in the tailgate. A couple little touch-ups like this. It's a tailgate, so it's going to have that. It does have a sliding tonneau cover on it. Um, we do not have the lock for that key. Uh, key for the key, lock for that key. Key for that lock. Be the other way around. A little rub mark right here, too. Okay, show you underneath the truck. Okay. Really good looking truck. I see a tiny ding right there. Right there. It's a really pretty truck. I'm not sure why people would trade in something like this. You might as well keep it forever at this stage. It's in great shape. 130,000 and 12, uh, 130,121 miles. Um, I'm going to show you the Carfax. I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book. I'll take you under the hood. I'll take off the oil cap. Um, we will uh, look at uh, uh, the fenders and stuff to make sure the, that they're original. I'll show you all that in a second. Here's the Kelly Blue Book on the truck uh, for a. Uh, Crew cab Lariat, 130,000 miles. Suggested retail price would be 15,772. Okay. Here is the Carfax for the truck. There's the VIN. No accidents reported. 130,116. Uh, I did this Carfax literally, you know, 30 minutes ago. 129 to 19. Okay. Very boring Carfax. Very boring. This is a damage report right here on 630, but it doesn't say anything about it. So it could have run over a freaking trash can. I mean, it's here at 728 getting a battery uh, and getting flushed. So obviously it wasn't hurt. There's no specifics and we don't see anything. So probably nothing. People get, uh, companies get $10 to report Carfax. So when you go to your shop, uh, tell them, ask them before you give them to put oil in it. Uh, you don't report like damage, do you? Because you'll go to Jiffy Lube and then they'll report like damage to your car and they get $10 for that. It's ridiculous. Then your car's worth a lot less money. All right, uh, there's a Ford stamp there. So that's the original fender. Ford stamp on the core support. Ford stamp right there. Ford stamp right there. So everything up front is original, not replaced. Beautiful. Almost zero blow by, which is excellent. Excellent, excellent. 
All right, we'll do the passenger front window, door locks. Perfect. Seat back, forward, up, and down. Rear tilt up and down. Front tilt up and down. Beautiful truck. Gosh. You have a manual. You have a wheel key. Perfect. Let's see. There. Nothing going on there. No surprises under the mats. Door jams look excellent. Headliner looks excellent. Door jams, everything's fine. Pretty truck. Really nice truck. Let's take a quick look on the roof and make sure there's no surprises up there. Nope. Let's see anything there. Window. Window. Oh, fast to the motor. Good in them. All right. Let's see. Locks are fine. Mirrors out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up, down, tilt wheel. It's fine. We recovered the seat here. I can see that right now. Probably had tears in the outside bolster. Up, down. Seat up, down. God dang it. Uh, I'm trying to get the seatbelt on here, and my shoulder's all really sore. A little painful. All right. There we go. We've got an overhead cluster here. Boom, boom, boom. All that stuff. That all works. Which is actually unusual. Usually those don't. There's toe on and off right there. Let's see the radio. Radio works fine. Turn on the air. That's working fine also. Uh, but, 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 but what else? Let's put it into neutral. Put it into four low. Now we're in four low. See up here it says low range, four by four. Drive. Reverse. That's in four low. Perfect. Neutral. Four high. Now it's just in four high. The low range goes away. Or drive. And reverse in four high. All right, neutral. Now we'll go to two, two wheel drive and we'll go for a ride. This truck is uh, being sold on a clear title. It was dealer traded. Very nice truck, obviously well maintained. Um, if you come to us on Drive It Home, which you're welcome to do, you will pay uh, a dock fee of $250 and taxes. You, the taxes will be your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7. So if you come here, it's very simple. Your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7 and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is a agreed upon price and that's it. Um, there's no tax, there's no dock fee, nothing. If you are gonna pay by wire and ship, once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, we'll scan that into your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately, and we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in, okay? Um, blah, 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 blah. You'll have the truck shipped to you. You already have the title from the mail and you just go to your local motor vehicles and uh, get plates. It's very simple. 
Uh, once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. The deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Uh, once we have your deposit, we'll put your name or your company's name uh, in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com, and everyone, including you, will know that uh, it's sold. Uh, nice Lariat, white Lariat truck from Arizona uh, that runs great. Uh, nice Carfax, nice Kelly Blue Book is going to do very, very, very well. So I suggest that if you were interested in this truck, you're ready with a deposit. Last part of every video I do, I say the same thing. Last two or three minutes of every video, you'll hear me say the same thing. Um, I'm not singling this truck out uh, because there's an issue, because there isn't. Uh, but uh, I encourage you to watch the last uh, two or three minutes of every video for every truck we have online, whether they're sold units or deposits or for sale. Um, I'll say this. We don't have salesmen, which is a great thing, because uh, we don't have to pay them, which means we don't have to charge you more money to pay a salesman. Um, we don't have bottled water in a lounge, also more money than we'd have to charge you uh, to pay for that. Uh, we don't uh, babysit you when you come to visit and want to test drive a car. I'll just say, throw me your driver's license, here's a dealer plate, slap it on the truck, and goodbye. There's no babysitting. I'm not gonna try to sell you the truck. You either want it or you won't. Okay, um, that's how we roll. Uh, we have to keep the, the bills low. And the way we keep the bills low is this way. And the bottom line is, what I'm getting at is, regardless of when this truck breaks, and it will break because everything breaks eventually, whether it's brand new or 50 years old, when it breaks, if it's the day you get it, or five years from now, you are going to write a check to fix it. You're saving a bunch of money buying from us. You're getting more information you could ever get from any dealer on their vehicle. Um, uh, so you can make a good decision, but at the end of the day, we are not Nostradamus, okay? We do not know when this truck is going to break. Uh, based on the almost zero blow-by, the Carfax, the condition of the truck, um, I would say if you change the fluids and the filters, it'll go for a long, long, long time. That being said, who knows? It could need an air compressor tomorrow. It could need a window motor tomorrow. It could need nothing for 10 years, okay? But if it does, you're gonna deal with it, all right? That's the tough love part of the speech, but honestly, this is a badass truck. <laughs> I love this truck. Really nice, you know, 04 Lariat, crew cab 4x4 FX4. Um, not a whole lot in this condition running around anymore. I like this truck a lot. If you're concerned about EGR, which everyone is, I wouldn't worry about it if you change the fluid and the coolants and stuff. But if you are, we do offer a bulletproof EGR package in our ad for 2400, which is ridiculously low. That's a bulletproof EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler, um, gaskets, coolant, Rotella oil filter, um, and you know, 2400. If, if you, if you say you want it you pay for it before you buy, take possession it's 2400 if you you know drive down the street after you buy it say you know what i want that it's four grand all right we're just doing this at that price because uh we want people to feel you know good about it and if that's their concern then that's a pretty cheap concern to deal with well uh, you know if you want to that being said i wouldn't do it it doesn't need it change the oil and the coolant you know fairly regularly you know oil on time and the coolant you know maybe every 10,000 miles you're gonna be fine anyway I think that's about it thank you for your time